Browsers treat the HTML markup in web pages like a family tree, and Dreamweaver helps you visualize the relationship between elements through the tag selector at the bottom of the document window. If I click inside a paragraph in the sidebar, you can see the hierarchy in the tag selector. We've got the body at the top, then the wrapper div, then the sidebar div, and finally the paragraph. Now if I move into the main content div, you can see that the hierarchy is different. We're still within the body and wrapper, but now we're within the main content. You can use this family tree relationship to select specific parts of the page for styling. All elements nested inside another at any level are regarded as descendants. You create descendant selectors by putting a space between the two selectors. The ancestor goes on the left and the descendant on the right. Let's create a descendant selector for the sidebar paragraphs. So I'm going to put my cursor inside a paragraph there and click the new CSS rule icon at the bottom of the CSS styles panel. And you'll see that Dreamweaver has analyzed the hierarchy and it's suggested this descendant selector, wrapper sidebar P. Everything in the page is inside the wrapper, so I don't need to be quite as specific as that. Click less specific and I've now got a descendant selector for sidebar P. And the new CSS rule dialog box actually analyzes what your rule is going to do. So I'll click OK to go into the CSS rule definition dialog box. And I'm just going to change the font style from normal to italic and click OK. And you can see that all of the paragraphs inside of the sidebar have been turned italic, but in the main content, they remain unchanged. I'm going to switch now directly to the style sheet and here is that descendant selector that has been created, sidebar P. I'm going to put my cursor between the sidebar and P and insert a greater than sign and then put the focus back into design view and you can see what has happened now is that the paragraph which is inside a block quote here is not styled. Using the greater than sign between two selectors means that the selector on the right must be a direct child of the selector on the left. I've got my cursor inside the block quote paragraph and you can see in the tag selector here the hierarchy body, wrapper, sidebar, block quote P. So we're inside a paragraph but it's not a direct child of the sidebar. That's why it's not affected by this style rule. Using child selectors speeds up the loading of your page because the browser doesn't need to keep going down the family tree to find matching elements. The downside is that they're very specific and they're not supported by Internet Explorer 6. However, they are supported by Internet Explorer 7 and later. I'm going to create another child selector, this time for paragraphs in main content. And I'll set the text indent property to 40 pixels. If I go back into design view, you'll see that the paragraphs in main content are now indented by 20 pixels. But the paragraphs in the sidebar have not been affected. The rule that I've just created also affects the paragraphs that immediately follow the H2 headings. I don't really like that, so I'm going to create another selector. Let's do it directly in the style sheet. We'll start off with main content. Create a child selector for H2. And then CSS has a rather strangely named selector, which is called the Adjacent Sibling Combinator. And what this does is it targets an element that follows immediately after another one. What I want to do is I want to affect the paragraphs that immediately follow the H2 elements and no other paragraphs at all. And to create an Adjacent Sibling Combinator, you add the plus sign. So plus P and then I'll set the text indent to zero. 
And if we go back into design view, you'll see that what has happened is that the paragraphs are adjacent siblings. In HTML and CSS terminology, sibling refers to elements that are at the same level of the page structure. So adjacent siblings are nested inside the same parent element and immediately follow one another. The second paragraph is also a sibling of the H2 heading, but it doesn't follow it immediately, so it's not affected by this adjacent sibling selector. Let's take another look at the selector. Now it looks quite complex, but it's also very efficient because it only looks for paragraphs that immediately follow an H2 heading that are direct children of the main content. Selecting elements based on their relationship to each other within the HTML hierarchy offers great power without the need to use classes, keeping your markup clean and easier to maintain. Unfortunately, child selectors and the adjacent sibling combinator aren't supported by Internet Explorer 6, but as its market share continues to diminish, you can begin to add them to your CSS toolbox.